Guys, what is up? How's it going? Hope you've all been doing really well. This is Jeff with Guns, Gears, and Beers. I don't know if I should say that every time I upload a video or not, but this is Jeff with Guns, Gears, and Beers. G-H-B. G-G-B. Sorry. Didn't get past first grade. Um, so this is kind of maybe a long overdue video with the Harbor Freight U.S. General Series 2 44. 4 inch full box setup with maybe a little bit extra. I have a 30 inch tool cart. I have the 44 series box with the tool cart and two side cabinet lockers. And I kind of want to show you a little bit about them and what I kind of have in them. And again, this is kind of a maybe a episode two. I kind of did a little unboxing of that last Black Friday. And I kind of want to show you what I got in my setup here. And I have some drawers that aren't quite finished yet. I have a lot of tools back there and up there that aren't fully in the box and in the cabinets yet. But I kind of want to show you what I got going on. And maybe it'll give you guys a little bit of influence to want to upgrade your box or expand or maybe do something different. All right, guys, let's stick around. Here we go. All right, guys, so let's check out. This is the... 30 inch tool cart first and then we'll get into the box later so again guys i have a lot of drawers here that aren't fully set up yet i got more tools elsewhere that needs to go in and i'll kind of explain that later so here guys is the top uh portion of the 30 inch tool cart i have kind of so i operate if you guys have watched my channels i have a toyota tacoma that i daily drive i have an 83 toyota is kind of my gem truck dream truck kind of thing and then i have a uh, 82 Toyota pickup that I'm kind of redoing, restoring-ish. So most mostly what I got set up here, guys, is metric. So I have a, this is a gear wrench uh, setup of metric stubbies that are the ratcheting. Isn't that nice? Oops, whoopsie. Put those back. Um, I got uh, mostly metric up here, guys. And then I have a uh, Pittsburgh uh, Harbor Freight, uh, the color-coded, uh, long series of uh, metric and then I have quarter inch and then three eighths inch both squirt and uh, uh, deep socket metric and then I have a metric version of uh, uh, impact sockets um, and then I have one of the uh, Bauer Harbor Freight uh, rechargeable lights got a cheaper uh, I don't know what this is Bauer uh, quantum version of Harbor Freight light I got another light here that I got for Christmas a while back uh, some pencil, Sharpie, blah, blah, blah. And then I have a bunch of uh, 3 8 inch extensions, 3 8 inch and half inch, uh, 3 8 inch quarter, and then uh, quarter, half inch, or sorry, quarter, quarter, 3 8 and then half inch, long, ex long flex head ratchet, and then a half inch breaker bar. All Pittsburgh, guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but anything from Pittsburgh, from Harbor Freight, is all lifetime warranty, just like Snap-on or Craftsman. So, you break it, guys, bring it back. They give you a free one. So, um, full disclosure, um, I'm not paid by Harbor Freight. I don't get anything from Harbor Freight for free. I've paid for all this stuff from Harbor Freight. The only thing, guys, I've broke from Harbor Freight is a 17 millimeter wrench that I was beating on with a hammer trying to get a crankshaft nut off and then uh, this right here so this is the half inch and three eighths inch stubby ratchet they do not offer this anymore I broke the three eighths inch and quarter inch one of these that I was I used for probably seven years and I broke it and then I just threw it away and that was before I knew about the Harbor Freight uh, lifetime warranty so guys Harbor Freight tools I don't care what anybody here says about them Harbor Freight tools you cannot beat. Lifetime warranty, guys, on any Harbor Freight hand tool. I want you guys to know you cannot beat it. So that's pretty much what I got here in the top drawer. I have some uh, Hardy, which is from Harbor Freight. Mechanic gloves, and then I have some Mechanics Fast Fit gloves. I got some uh, cheap little shop towels here. Uh, some shop rags, and I got one of the freebie Harbor Freight tape measures that I've taken the... Uh, belt clip off of so that it fits down inside the Harbor Freight uh, 30 inch cart uh, side whatever you call this here side this isn't really a drawer but anyway you know Harbor Freight uh, 
Pittsburgh US General Magnetic. This is actually magnetic, so I can't really tell, but it's a bit holder, and I have some security bits in here. I got, you know, some Phillips, some flathead, some squares, some stars, some miscellaneous stuff um, kind of sitting in here, and then I have some miscellaneous oversize um, sockets here. So I got one of the US General red matching magnetic. Uh, this is kind of a screwdriver slash uh, sp uh, spray can holder, so I have some alcohol. Um, some PB Blaster and WD-40 here. Some stuff I kind of use generally. Uh, some cheap screwdrivers here. And then I have some... I have a Snap-on uh, Phillips and Flathead here. Uh, kind of going down here to the deep drawer off to the right. These guys here on the 30-inch cart are a locking. So you kind of push them here to the right, pull out. Um, I've... Uh, not really promoting it, but I've kind of followed into the snap on or sorry guys not snap on uh dewalt 20 volt series here so i have a uh one of the uh 20 volt the dcf 899 uh impact guns i have a quarter inch 20 volt impact gun then or sorry 20 volt impact drill and i'm a 20 volt impact gun off to the right here guys i have kind of some miscellaneous screwdrivers most of these are harbor freight uh Phillips flathead, some star, and some hex. And then these bottom two drawers here, believe it or not, I don't have filled yet. I have a lot of tools up here that I haven't quite got set yet. Uh, got some oil down there that I need to do an oil change on my 83 pickup here. Fuel filter, sorry, oil filter. And I have one of the Harbor Freight. This is one of the Bauer uh, half inch uh, 20 volt. Uh, impact guns and I got some shop rags here now guys moving into the probably the main attraction the 44 inch US General series 2 full tool cart setup now I call this a full full tool cart because you got the 44 inch bottom box you got the 44 inch top chest and you got two 16 inch side lockers here now if you want to call it a full toolbox setup I guess you would call it the box, the chest, a locker, and then a 16-inch side drawer. Um, I opted out for the 16-inch side drawer because I have a lot of drawers in both the cart and the box that I have not filled yet. So I, I don't need more drawer space. If anything, I need more locker space, and we'll get into that here in a second. That locker is actually empty. It's virtually completely empty. I just bought that locker here. This locker's full, and we'll get into that more in a second here. Sorry, guys. This is Guns, Gears, and Beers, and we're going to get a drink of beer. Mm. All right, guys. So, again, I know I've said this like three or four times, but I have more tools up here in the top portion of my shop. I have not fully integrated in this side locker or any of these other lockers. I got more stuff back there. I'm kind of trying to transition everything in here, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a look maybe before Black Friday as to what you can do here with your shop and trying to get... Uh, cart and locker and box set up here all right top of the tool chest here guys i have a three eighths inch this is a inch pounds three eighths inch torque wrench and then i have a snap on the both these are snap on uh half inch foot pounds torque wrench okay here guys and this is a steel chainsaw file set that i'm just kind of sitting up here um, I want to get a full socket set set up here for SAE and metric full set up here. This is one of the U.S. General uh, plugs, uh, I guess, electrical outlets. You can tell here it's plugged in. I got it routed down into an outlet in my shop here. Um, you get two USB ports, and then you get uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, regular 120 AC ports here. And I got it set up. It routes back there. You cannot shut this top chest with that set there this is uh this is magnetic guys so it kind of sits there um uh right there it fits perfectly and this is a not on topic but this is a tamea hilux uh four-wheel drive pickup this is one of the original 1981 to us or sorry harbor freight <laughs> i'm sorry guys tamea hilux 1982 Toyota four-wheel drive pickups, and I have a HGP407 right there in the Mountaineer Mountain Rider setup. Uh, if you guys have watched any bit of my channel, 
I am trying to do some HGP 407 Hilux Tamea Bruiser setups. Okay, so anyway, let's get to this box. I know that was kind of off topic, but let's get to the top of the box. I want to try to keep this short and simple. With the Series 2, you get some really nice chrome US General logos here. You get that on any portion of a box that you buy. This is the tool cart, and this is the top chest, and this is the bottom chest. You get no logos on the side lockers. Okay, so on the top chest, let's go with the top left. Okay, so we're starting with the top left here. This is my screwdriver drawer. So I am 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and this is almost chin height for me. So this right now, this I'm holding my camera right here. This is about eye level that I'm holding this. This is my screwdriver set. I have a full uh, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh. This is the Pro Series. These are like $10 before the coupon. These are great screwdrivers. You got the uh, blue, which is the Phillips head, and then you got the red, which is the standard. I also have a snap-on. This is a snap-on ratcheting screwdriver, and I, I use this more often than not. So with the snap-on, I also have a security bit set up. You can get this also for real cheap through Harbor Freight. This is a, it's like a 100-piece security bit set up that works with the, with my uh, snap-on uh, ratcheting screwdriver set. I also have a snap-on, uh, this is a larger Phillips head, and this is a larger uh, flathead. I inherited a lot of snap-on stuff from my dad, guys, so you'll see a lot of snap-on mixed with, mixed with Pittsburgh here. I have a full snap-on long-reach screwdriver set in both uh, flathead and Phillips here. I have a uh, cheap uh, Pittsburgh uh, pick set here. I have a uh, Pittsburgh... Uh, this is more of a eyeglass screwdriver set, but believe it or not, this works really great for a lot of stuff that I have, guys. A lot of stuff with the model trucks that I've been working on, but also a lot of stuff with the, like, uh, rotary tool, Dremel tools, trying to get the, uh, organize the bits and stuff and, uh, screw on the bits and stuff. Uh, you got some stubbies here, both Phillips and Flathead. Back in the second drawer, I have, and again, guys, I have a lot of stuff and a lot of drawers here, and I have a lot of tools that aren't fully fitted here yet, but this right here is my metric set. Uh, this is a full Pittsburgh metric set all the way up to, uh, let's see, 8 to 32. This is a stubby set. Down here on the third drawer, this is my full set of SAE and standard. I'm trying to focus, guys. I'm sorry. And I have some crescent wrenches here as follows. And this is a gear wrench set of ratcheting wrenches. Down in the deep drawer on the top chest. This is my favorite, guys. This is the pliers drawer. And these, uh, before Harbor Freight uh, brought out their pliers racks, this is, uh, th these were from, oh, what, where did I buy these from? Amazon. I kind of cut down this drawer. If you can see here, I kind of hit it with my Dremel tool to cut it down to fit. Uh, this is a full Harbor Freight uh, snap ring pliers drawer. This is a mix of like Ace Hardware slash Crescent Wrench slash Pittsburgh slash bunch of other stuff. I uh, got some needle nose pliers here. Got some scissors. Got some Ace uh, needle nose pliers. Got some cutoff pliers here. Uh, got some, I think this is, uh, crescent pliers. This is a leather punch. Got a bunch of vice grips from the tiny ones from Harbor Freight to full on larger ones here. These are the aviation tin, sn tin snips pliers set. Uh, some rivet gun tools here. And I'm pretty stoked the way this drawer turned out, guys. This drawer, this drawer turned out really nice. On the right top side, pretty much every toolbox needs to have a junk type drawer, and everything kind of gets shoved back here from slam. I don't really slam my drawers, guys, but I kind of go like that, and everything kind of gets shoved back here. Got some rubber bands, some Swisher Sweet cigars here. Don't judge. I drink. I, I, I smoke them once in a while when I'm drinking. Uh, some Purell hand sanitizer wipes. I got some shift knobs I kind of threw in here from working on the Toyota. Uh, hand sanitizer, more Swisher Sweets. It's just kind of miscellaneous stickers. Uh, uh, thermometer gun. It's 
kind of the junk drawer keychains. Every toolbox needs to have one of those, right? Kind of my electric drawer, a bunch of electric connectors, butt connectors, wire, whatever. I got some wire crimps from Harbor Freight. By the way, guys, these right here, these go on sale for like $3.99, $4.99 for the wire crimps and wire cutters. Um, guys, these things are awesome. Um, they're not really a crimp, but they're a wire cutter uh, and a wire stripper. And I highly recommend them for the price, guys. You can't beat them. Uh, one of the cheap, free Harbor Freight. Hey, it still works. Uh, digital, uh, you, you know what I'm talking about here. Um, some LED blinker, uh, LED, uh, I don't know what you call them, but they keep the LEDs from flashing. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, I'm, I'm short of words. Oh, let's see, wire crimpers, uh, some electro tape, butt connectors, wire strippers. Down in here, um, I have an X-Acto knife set, I have a digital caliper, and then I have a rubber, this is kind of a rubber eraser, um, I'm going to use that for erasing the decals on the doors and the stripes on that truck. Um, pretty much every ball, uh, hex, star, um, whatever um, tool you can imagine here, hex wrench, ball, star, um, some... Uh, wire brushes from all the way from uh, nylon to stainless to brass and then this is empty you don't have anything in this in the moment down here on the bottom portion of the locker top drawer I kind of have set up with I have some miscellaneous files here this is all files from snap-on to miscellaneous brand to Harbor Freight US General uh, this is a Harbor Freight punch set and uh, leather punch, some miscellaneous um, epoxy, uh, miscellaneous uh, uh, gasket maker, punches, some scrapers. Down here in the second drawer is my hammer drawer, all the way from um, nylon hammers to uh, fiberglass claws to regular hammers, ball peen hammers. Down here is a miscellaneous socket drawer. I have everything from uh, hex 3 8 inch uh, wrench sockets to uh, 3 8 inch uh, deep sockets that are impact sockets. I have a brand new set of uh, metric uh, 3 8 inch color-coded Harbor Freight sockets. These are uh, uh, proprietary sockets to taking um, wheel bearings out on Suzuki Samurais and the hubs on... First gen Toyota pickups. I guess that works with second gen Toyota pickups as well. Some uh, miscellaneous uh, uh, socket wrench things here. Uh, miscellaneous adapters. And then, guys, I think that's pretty much it for my drawers in here for now, all the way down to the bottom. And you're going to laugh what I have. This is a dual ball bearing bottom drawer. And I have some uh, drawer liner. I have all my instruction manuals for everything here in my shop. The drawer, more drawer liners, more drawer handles, some RC car parts, and whatever. And, again, I'm going to try to work to get some more stuff in here as I go. Uh, this top, oh, my bad. The top drawer in the bottom chest, I have some 12-piece uh, uh, Harbor Freight Warrior screw, screw extractor set. A uh, screw gauge for trying to figure out what kind of bit and screw you have. Two cases of drill bits, some step bits, uh, more screw extractors, and then a gasket, uh, gasket cutter set. And then down here, guys, this is the, uh, those are all empty. Uh, let's see, is this empty? No, this is my air tool drawer. Uh, this is uh, some air shears. I have a uh, half inch. Uh, impact gun there. I have two, three, uh, sorry, a three eighths inch uh, air impact gun, uh, air ratchet, half inch air ratchet. I have a three eighths inch air sander that I'm using to try to clean the windshield on the Toyota pickup. Some uh, miscellaneous uh, adapters here, and then I have a Harbor Freight. This is in the bag. Uh, this is the pro version, the pro half inch air impact that I use to take all my lug nuts off and stuff and some miscellaneous stuff here. Um, and one thing I skipped here was the full drawer on the top and I am not utilizing this as I should guys. And I plan on again, redoing all this stuff. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say that, but, um, I have some gloves in here. I have a full set of snap on, uh, breaker bars in here, not breaker bars, pry bars in here. And then, um, some Toyota Tacoma parts here. This is, uh, inner tie rods and outer tie rods for my Tacoma truck that I'm planning on 
for, uh, working on here shortly. Uh, some uh, glasses, some earplugs, more glasses, and some Leatherman tools. Off on the right side locker here, guys, this is where I have a lot of my automotive stuff. I have every automotive, automotive manual that I have. I have uh, the, uh, let's see here. Let's see if this turns on. Woo! Hey, guys, hold on. Check this out. Yeah, look at that. I have my Tacoma Haynes manual here. I have a snap-on full ordering manual for every snap-on tool known to man. I have a aluminum. This is like a uh, work pad. I don't know, like a, a writing pad case. I don't, can't really describe it. Sorry. 1983 Toyota pickup repair manual for my 83 pickup, and that will also work for 82 pickups as well. Uh, 79 to 95 Toyota pickup Haynes manual, Samurai manuals, pretty much every Haynes manual for every car I've ever owned. Um, I know that's kind of random, but uh, some RC car wheels. I'm kind of a germaphobe, so some antibacterial hand wipes, back brace, uh, Etsy, 99 cent Toyota rubber mat thing, uh, uh, speaker, and some uh, microphone stuff there, some keys. Down in the second drawer, guys, this is kind of my storage drawer. I have some uh, uh, heat shrink, some clips, some hose clamps, some trailer, uh, I don't know what you call them, PTO pin assortment, some more hose clamps, some automotive fuses, some electrical tape, a uh, brand new power inverter, just some miscellaneous stuff. Down here, guys, I have, uh, this is a tap and die set, both metric and SAE, solder gun, compression test kit, uh, let's see, engine oil pressure test kit, and then a diesel tune-up kit, and I have a brand new air filter for my Tacoma, and a couple oil filters. One thing that's really cool, guys, not that you probably care, but um, all three of my Toyota trucks here all take the same oil filter, so I just kind of go to the Toyota dealership whenever I need them and buy a, a handful of them at a time. Down here in the bottom drawer, guys, in this right locker, I keep uh, some battery chargers. I have two battery chargers here. I have a, a gasoline, uh, this is a timing gun, and then I have a trickle, some trickle chargers here. This is in the right locker, and look at this. This is really awesome. And absolutely nothing in the right locker. Oh, I have two 12-ounce can coasters for holding down the uh, rubber mats to try to keep the uh, liners down. Um, so, guys, you know, again, this was probably a long video from what it should be. This is a Series 2 U.S. General kind of 44-inch tool cart setup with the 30-inch uh, mechanic carts and the 44-inch full setup from the bottom chest, the top chest, and two side lockers, and I just kind of want to show you guys what you can do, uh, give you some ideas, and again, I have, I'm, I got some drawers that aren't utilized yet, but I plan on utilizing them in the future, I have a bunch of stuff that I need to put away, both over here to the right side of me, and then on my workbench, and then up here, and uh, again, guys, I, I, I just got a bunch of stuff that I need to put away, so I hope you guys take something from this and you learn something. Maybe you guys are going to uh, put your guys' box together. Maybe you're thinking of getting a tool cart in a box. Uh, stick with me, guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to do another video of the box fully closed. I don't know. Maybe I will in the future uh, once I get it all situated. But I hope you guys enjoy and gives you some ideas. And stick with me for more tool cart, Toyota pickup, generator, shed enclosure, RC car, working, gun, beer drinking, hanging out with buddies, videos. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for sticking with me. Take care.